This is probably the second favourite case of mine on Earth, all bar the Cosmos 2. Stick around for the full review of the Cosmos SE from Cooler Master. So to start off, we're going to take a look at the uh, basically the case's feet. Uh, the um, Unlike the Bitfenix Prodigy, it uh, has basically two rails on the bottom, but these have rubber feet on the bottom, which makes it almost impossible to move on a wooden surface, which is fantastic. I really do like the handles here, as they just give a great stylized feature, are able to, you're able to pick up the case very easily, and as I said, they just look awesome. Now you do have two, technically three, uh, five and a quarter inch drive bays, but one of them is currently set up, or come stock set up with a fan uh, in a sort of quarter of it, so um, if you do want that extra drive bay, you can do but uh, it will require a bit of uh, finagling. Now the front cover can be taken off quite easily just by pulling at the bottom and you'll find that it's actually a removable dust filter as well. Um, if you, It's not quite a removable dust filter in the sense that it comes away from that piece but you do just wash that piece and then it's fine. On the front, uh, down the bottom, you'll find two drive bays, which are effectively in the style of hot swap bays, but they don't have a back plane, so you can't just, you know, throw drives in and have it, you know, click in. You'll actually have to install the SATA power and SATA data cables um, if you want to use these. It's a little bit strange, but obviously if you did want to only have, for example, a hard drive and an SSD or maybe just two hard drives in here and have lots of space for long graphics cards this is quite nice. You can install fans at the bottom as well so they do include a dust filter um, which is removable and also they do include one for the power supply at the other side as well. I do like the sort of modular design of this case because it's effectively a frame with a lot of plastic bits around the side but all are removable very easy and normally either attached by some clips or a thumb screw which is fantastic. The front fans are blue LED fans come stock, um, I'd recommend you uh, just keep them on because they do sound fairly quiet and just look awesome. Um, the side panel actually has a huge amount of uh, space in it, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Um, on the back you'll find a removable power supply mount, 7 PCI slots plus the extra 2 on the side, 3 water cooling coals, 120mm fan and this removable cover at the top. Now if you've ever seen a Cosmos case before you'll probably know that you can actually remove this cover and put fans or even if you want to do a bit of modding put a radiator on top of the case. There's a huge amount of space I think it's actually you could probably fit a, either a, a 30 or a 60 mil radiator um, up the top there if you wanted to which is just fantastic really and I, I really like the idea that you could put maybe a radiator inside the case and then put the fans on top here um, just to save a bit of space inside you know a bit of airflow um, may, maybe a bit better be a bit better and also the remote removable cover that you have uh, that you, I just took off is actually a dust filter as well. Now, just to check out the handles there, it's very, very easy to pick this case up with these. They're screwed on with four screws either side um, and, you know, it's just it, fantastic. I love the, the style and also the fact that, you know, they're so sturdy and easily able to pick up a case even with a system in it. Now the front I.O. is two USB 2s, two USB 3s, headphone microphone jack, a uh, hard drive activity light that looks like kit from Knight Rider, a power button that's surrounded by a blue LED light, and the LED on off switch and a reset switch was also um, covered by a blue LED light. The hard drive activity LED light is also blue as well. Now there's those two front facing or inside facing drive bays and there's six drive bays here. Now you'd be surprised when I tell you that this can actually fit 18 SSDs or two and a half inch drives. I'll tell you more about that later But just want to point out that there is a huge amount of space with this uh, behind the rear panel with the um, You know bulge in the back uh, panel there. Um, I can literally fit my whole hand in there. It's fantastic now the power supply actually sits on two um, basically soft rubber mounts and not only allows for you know no vibrations, but also um, a little bit more airflow You'll also find four, you know, very nice rubber grommets around the case. Um, I would have liked to have seen some more around, for example, where the 8-pin connector is, just to hide that a little bit more, and the one at the top as well. But um, the other thing that I would like to point out is that when you have an ATX, a full-size ATX motherboard in, the two right, uh, you know, top right uh, grommets are fact effectively covered in half um, if you have the board in there. So uh, just be careful with that, and maybe a little bit of planning ahead um, when you put this uh, build, build a system in this might go your way. Now there is ample room at the bottom for a extra long power supply. Um, it's fantastic and there's a lot of room for cable management as well. 
Now what I was talking about with the uh, the hard drive sleds, they're fantastic. You can fit a three and a half inch drive on the top using the anti-vibration rubber mounts that you basically just pull that tab and pull the dri drive sled apart, put the, the three and a half inch drive in and push it together. But then if you want to put a two and a half inch drive in as well, you can screw it in uh, into the bottom and effectively holds the drive together so neither can slip out, which is just fantastic. This is great for saving space and even if you want to use this as something like a server, you can have up to six, or well, actually up to eight, three and a half inch drives and up to eight more two and a half inch drives which is just incredible. Now one thing I did find is that with an M80X board this was a little bit hard to cable manage just because of the sort of travel distance of the cables but I'm sure if you used an ATX motherboard then uh, this would look a little bit better. Now if you wanted to install extra long graphics card all you'd have to do is remove one of the panels, remove the drive sleds and you would be able to fit an extra long graphics card in. You can do this with all of the pa panels on the hard drive bays um, which makes this very very customizable and very easy to use. I personally threw in a uh, 7870 just to show a sort of average card that could you're, you're probably going to fit in and if you did want anything longer as I said you can just remove that that uh, plate or any of the plates. Now even with a semi-modular power supply this is very easy to fit in. This could fit anything from you know a Corsair uh, you know uh, AX1200i or something all the way down to a 500 watt um, you know OCZ something or other. Um, now it does look very good personally and even when it's turned on the blue LED lights, personally, uh, you know, I've wanted one of these cases forever, I've, you know, wanted a Cosmos 2, the blue LEDs are fantastic, you can turn the fans off with uh, a push of a button from the top of the case, although actually one thing I did note is that the um, button to turn off the LEDs only turns off the LEDs and the fans, not the LEDs on the top and the hard drive activity LED, um, I know that that's ob fairly obvious, but um, it's something you might want to take note of and the fact that this is going to be quite bright and uh, just too awesome to have handle if you want to sleep next to or something. Um, other than that, yeah, as I said, I really do like it. So moving on to the pros and cons, as I said, personally, this is obviously very subjective, but this is my personal opinion. I really do like the look of it. Obviously, as I said, it's very spacious inside, it's amazingly customizable and has a lot of cable management space. This case is incredibly easy to build in, there's a lot of room to work with, and there's a lot of room to work with in the back as well, so you don't need to worry about it, you know, um, actually having any issues with trying to get the rear panel on or anything. The only thing I would say is it doesn't come with a uh, power supply cover like the Cosmos 2 did and some grommets um, on the side can be a little bit tight um, in case, you know, as I said earlier, you can if it, you effectively have one of them cut off or, you know, two of them cut in half. So for value for money, um, currently uh, I'm not going to say how much the price is because check it out on the Amazon link below, but it's going to be a four. For performance, I'm not really sure what performance for a case is, so it's going to get a five. Functionality, as I said, the two nitpicky points that I just pointed out, as I said, are, are fairly nitpicky, so it's going to get a five for that. And personally, as I said, subjective, but I love the look of this case, so that's going to get a five. And finally, Finally, um, as, as I said, I'm, I'm a bit biased. I've wanted one for a while, so it's going to get a 5 Tech Team GB score, and it's going to get a Tech Team GB approved award. It's not quite top tier just because of its price point, but it is a premium case. It is very, very nice, and you will love it if you buy it. So um, please do check out the written review of this product. Um, we do try very hard to get both out, and uh, you know, if you do like uh, written reviews over video reviews, do check them out. Um, obviously. If you like video reviews, over written reviews, do let us know in the comments down below. Other than that, that's pretty much it for me. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let us know what you thought of the video, the written review, or anything else in the comments down below. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. So thanks for watching this Tech Team GB video. You've probably seen enough of me already, so I'm going to go away. Right after I say, if you haven't already liked or disliked, just let us know why in the comments down below as well. Um, check out some of our other videos. Hopefully there'll be some somewhere around me. And then also, um, feel free to subscribe as well, that really helps us out, um, and yeah, obviously shows companies that you love us. So if you do love us, check us out on Facebook or Twitter, hopefully there will also be some stuff around here maybe. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much it from me, so we'll see you all in the next video.